Welcome to the TechLit Space presentation um, presented by the NASA Glenn Research Center, of course, TechLit. Um, to kind of know a little bit about our team, a couple of people aren't unfortunately be able to be here, but uh, we can start with Herb. So if Herb, you wanted to kind of say something, say who you, who you are. Uh, uh, sure. Um, as it says there, my title is computer scientist. And one of the things that I do is I work with people who make graphics and display data um, and information in cool ways using things like augmented and virtual reality, if you've heard of those things um, in, a, in a lab. I'm actually in the lab right now. <laughs> uh, that's it. And I can talk about Caleb Bug. Caleb was hopefully going to be able to attend, but maybe he forgot about it. And he actually makes applications for augmented reality and virtual reality. He's a student at a university called Boise State University. And I guess next. And Kirsten. hi. Oh, yeah. yes. Hi, everyone. I'm Kirsten. Um, I'm an MBA, or I was an MBA communications and outreach intern at NASA Glenn this summer. And I attend the University of North Texas. Uh, yeah, Chase couldn't be here because he's in class. <laughs> so that yeah, he, he could have been here last week, but because of the delay, he can't attend. But he, he does 3D modeling. Um, so like you were talking about using Blender at one point, I remember Nellie yeah, he doesn't use Blender, he uses something like it, but he makes 3D models of things that NASA is, is interested in. Okay, hi everyone, my Kelsey. name's Kelsey. I've met some of you before, um, I guess a year ago at this time. Um, I kind of did what Kirsten did, and I was a previous Davis intern, and I go to Rutgers and studying computer science as well. And Jacob is, um, yeah, he's got to deal with some family health issues, so, but he um, was a past intern, a current intern, and he is making models of NASA airplanes for a flight simulator, if, if people know about that. So it's really cool and interesting. Um, and I don't think we have a, because she was a late addition, Adriana, if she wants to mention something about herself. <laughs> Um, hi, I'm Adriana Holst. I'm the newest intern. So my first day was this Monday. Um, I go to Ohio University and I'm a double major. I study computer science and musical theater. I'm really happy to be here. Okay, and so I wanted to put this map of the US to kind of show where everyone is. Um, so starting with Jacob, he is based out of uh, Seattle, Washington. And then Caleb, obviously, is out of um, Boise, uh, Idaho. I am currently located in Dallas, Texas. Herb and Chase are in Cleveland, Ohio, and Kelsey is in New York City. So, um, Adriana, did you want to say where you are? Yeah, um, I'm also in Ohio. I'm uh, very south, a lot closer to uh, Kentucky and West Virginia. It's a place called Athens, Ohio. Okay, great. I love this map. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, yes, yes. So um, trying to get into what is NASA. So NASA stands for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. It is a US government agency responsible for space and technology related to air and space. It opened for business on October 1st, 1958. Um, interesting, more than 18,000 people work for NASA and employees can vary from astronauts to scientists, engineers, writers, lawyers, and teachers. And there are many more positions. So kind of, um, it ranges, you know, you can pretty much do anything at NASA. It's a really cool place to work. And so I wanted to also provide this map of where the NASA centers are located because they're really all over the US. Um, so we have some centers in California, Texas, Louisiana, Alabama, Florida, Ohio, of course, New York, uh, DC is where our um, headquarters is located and some other centers kind of um, in other cities. And so hopefully this video works, but I kind of wanted to play this little short video about NASA's work on the moon. So 
I don't think it has sound, but it has subtitles. Yeah, there you go. Can everyone see that? Is it possible to narrate on the video because it doesn't have a sound? Uh, can they, I, is it going too fast? No, no, it may be too small for them to read for those in the back. I was wondering if it's oh, possible. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I can make it bigger. Let me go back. Also, if it's possible to narrate as it the video plays. Oh, sure, sure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, I slid it from the beginning. Hi, my name is Pluto. I'm going to tell you a bit about the moon today. Six missions of landing humans on the moon with a total of 12 people being on the moon. Neil Armstrong was the first person on the moon landing during the Apollo 11 mission. No woman or person of color has been on the moon yet, but the new Artemis missions are going to change that. This is a space launch system SLS for Artemis. It's NASA's most powerful rocket yet, and on its first, oh, let me go back. Oh no, okay, let's see. It's NASA's most powerful rocket yet, and on its first crewed mission, it will send four people to space and two to the moon for the first time in 50 years. On the moon, they will land on the unexplored South Pole and try to find water and test technologies for Mars. This is the Artemis Base Camp, which will act as a base camp for astronauts for many years to come. Wow, it's really dusty. Lunar dust is small and sharp. Unlike Earth's dust, because of this, it can get into places it shouldn't and do a lot of damage to suits and machinery. Fortunately, NASA is actively looking for a solution. There's less gravity on the moon, so things fall a lot slower. When the old suits were hard to move in, astronauts used this to their advantage and bunny hopped instead of walking. Luckily, the new Artemis suits had fixed that. Now let's golf. Golf on the moon began with Alan Shepard during the Apollo 14 mission. Using remastered images, we now know it went about 40 yards or 36.6 meters. Okay, bye. Just, just as a side comment, by the way, uh, one of our high school students, her name is Shubi Gandhi. Uh, she made this animation. So. Wow. You can, you can watch. Uh, pardon? What do they use to make the animation? Uh, Unity, the game engine. Oh, um, wow. You, you can make, you can make uh, animations, videos uh, using it um, also. So. Yeah. I think. Yes. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. It's fine. It's okay. Go ahead. Okay. So I'm sure many of you are wondering how many people have been to space and over 600 people from around the world have been to space. So a lot of people. And so this kind of, um, this chart shows the evolution of human space flight, um, which like the number of males and female astronauts um, launched in space by year. So as you can see in the sixties, um, there were no women until kind of in the mid sixties and then time went on uh, more women were able to go to space. And um, this is kind of its peak, right? And uh, yeah, as time went on, more women were able to go to space and we were able to send more, uh, send more people to space. So 
that's always a good thing. Okay, so I wanted to kind of talk about notable astronauts. Um, you might be familiar with some of these names, um, but if not, I kind of wanted to give it some history. So starting with Yuri Gagarin, um, he was a Russian uh, cosmonaut and he was the first human to enter space in 1961. And his orbital flight lasted 108 minutes in his Vostok 1 spacecraft. And so this is a picture of Yuri. And then John Glenn was the first American to orbit Earth in 1962. His spacecraft, the Friendship 7, orbited Earth three times in just under five hours. So those are, uh, that's really fascinating to know. And then of course, here's uh, John. And then I would say one of the most famous astronauts would be Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Um, they were the first men to walk on the moon. And that's kind of where we got Armstrong's famous quote. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. So we have uh, Neil right here, and then we got Buzz. And then, oh, I didn't change the picture, but uh, yeah. So then Sally Ride was the first American woman in space in 1983, and she rode to orbit aboard space shuttle Challenger. And then we have Mae Jemison, who was the first African-American woman to travel to space in 1992. She orbited space 127 times over a period of eight days aboard the space shuttle, shuttle Endeavor. Um, so that is, that is incredible. Yeah, she's great. And then this is unfortunately not a picture of William Shatner. I don't know why I didn't change it, but um, he was the oldest person to go to space at 90 years old. That's crazy. Um, yeah, he was 90. And uh, the name might sound familiar to some of you um, because he played Captain Kirk in the Star Trek franchise. And then the first African in space was Mark Shuttleworth, and he traveled to the International Space Station or the ISS in 2002. Um, unfortunately, not, not to my knowledge, there are any like Black Africans who have been to space, but I hope one day I read in the news that one of y'all um, we're able to do that. So, um, yes. And then moving on, what is, does it take to be a NASA astronaut? Um, so to be an astronaut, a NASA astronaut, uh, one, you must be a U.S. citizen. And then for the second kind of criteria, uh, possess a master's degree in a STEM field including engineering, biological science, physical science, computer science, or mathematics. And then um, have at least two years of related professional experience, which can be attained after degree completion, or at least a thousand hours um, pilot and command time on jet aircraft. And then for the last kind of piece of criteria, um, you must be able to pass the NASA long duration flight astronaut physical. So I want us to also include some images of just the astronaut suits because I always think those are so cool. Um, and yeah, anything is possible. So um, kind of if you just follow this, one of you could become an astronaut. So what what does it what does the what is the long um, what is the physical thing like you have to do? What is the test like? Um, I'm not really familiar with the physical herb. You, I don't know if you have some info on it. Yeah, I unfortunately, could. no, I, I don't really know either. Um, yeah, I mean, I can, uh, let's see, quickly look it up and read yeah, it. Or we, could, or we could follow up with emails to Nellie that she could share. Yes, that works too. That works too. Sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. It's okay. Sorry. And so I kind of just wanted to leave off with this presentation with kind of just saying dream big. Um, anything is possible. If you put your mind to it and believe, um, whether it's becoming an astronaut or a teacher, a doctor, an engineer, um, as long as you know that you can do it, um, it can be achieved. So, yay. That was it for the space presentation. And so now I kind of wanted to go into the Inkscape um, Is it okay if we activity. Check, if we check if they have any questions? I know they've had a lot of questions about this going to space. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. I'm sorry. Yeah. So I can stop can sharing. Check if I can see. And check if any of them has questions about going to space or anything that um, they're always wondering about.
Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the thank you for that. <laughs> before before I came to America, I used to think that anyone can any everyone in America is a pilot. So I used to think like, oh, if I go to America, I can become a pilot. So for them, when they hear like someone from NASA, they're like, of course they have gone to space. Like, oh, you're an intern at NASA? Of course you have gone to space. <laughs> you know, so for them, it's like, so they were always asking like, have you gone to space? Have you gone to space? <laughs> Do they have any questions, Magda? Bowen had a question. Okay, so, yeah, Bowen can ask. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Bowen can ask. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can see Bowen. You can introduce yourself and ask a question. That's okay. My name is Morris Bowen. I'm a grade five at Zawadi Academy. I want to ask a question. If is anyone go, can any child can go to space? Are you asking if any child, like if you can go to space as a kid? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Boban wants to go to space. How does he do it? <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> but, a, but a really good question. Um, That's a really good yeah, question. Yeah, no, I, I, so I, I'm, I'm sure there's. I'm sure there's age limits on the downside, obviously not on the high side since so William Shatner when he, when he was 90, but um, yeah, uh, I don't know of a way for a kid to go into space yet, but you know, the one thing that uh, we didn't talk about is that a lot of companies are starting to come up with ways to send people into space. That's how Will, William Shatner went into space. NASA didn't take him into space. He, paid his way, or I think he was just invited on maybe a SpaceX rocket. Um, and so if some really wealthy person wants to take a kid to space someday, uh, that's probably the first way it's gonna happen. <laughs> so, uh, okay, I just, yeah. I just need to connect Bowen with Elon Musk and then we report it, right? <laughs> Yeah. I hope you make it someday. I hope you make it. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying I just need to connect Bowen to Elon Musk, right? Just connect him, those two together, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Yeah. yeah, just send him a text. Yeah. <laughs> or, or tweet tweet at him. Yeah, I think so, it. Bowen, I want to have you tweet at Elon Musk and ask. <laughs> yeah. Does, does anyone else have a question? That's a really good question. Begin with my coffee. <laughs> yeah. Does anyone else have a question? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. My name is Sami. I'm in grade five and I would like to ask you a question. Can you can you go with a foot on the space? Can you go with what? Could you take food to the space? Ah, oh, okay. So, yeah, so what okay, that's a really good question. What food do you take to space? Like, do you take your own food? How does food work? That's a, they have really good questions, right? <laughs> That's the first question I would ask. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What are you gonna eat? Yeah. Thank, thank you, Sammy. Yeah. So, somebody else want to take it, or I, I can try answering. I think I think Arina Pula is clapping for for Sammy. Clap for Sammy for the question. <laughs> right there in the back, she was clapping. She was like, "That's a really good question. <laughs> I gotta eat." <laughs> I can try because I I watch some sometimes like like YouTube videos about this. So when they go to space, they have specific dietary things they have to take, and they have to pack it a very specific way so that the food doesn't spoil. And because there's no gravity in space, they have to pack it in certain containers so that it doesn't 
um, it can withstand the gravity, like the entry into space. And then also uh, when like they're eating and stuff like that, it doesn't spread everywhere. So small things like like dried foods, dried fruits, uh, applesauce, like small things like that. You can't have like, you know, the things you usually eat at home. Like, you're not a, you can't bring that with you. Um, but like maybe sna like small snacks that you guys would eat. Like that's what they're allowed to take to space. And then they have um, regular food too. But, you know, it's like either blended or mixed with something. So it's like powdery. And then they add water to it. And it's like a lot of like um, powder based foods or like make food as you go just to keep it like preserved for long periods of time. And I wish oh, that, that that was a great answer. Um, and I wish I knew the details. Uh, somebody told me about this once, but there was a famous NASA astronaut. This was in the early days of going into space, and he snuck a sandwich onto his mission, and uh, he he apparently got in a, kind of a lot of trouble for that. So, yeah, you so bring a really sandwich. <laughs> I'll I'll have to look it up and I'll forward it to you. Uh, uh, that's great. I feel like if they bring food, like it can contaminate other things, so they don't want them to. But yeah. I would want to eat, you know, my favorite meal if I'm far away from my house. It's like that's comforting. I wanna, I wanna share a quick video. I think yes, I went to YouTube just for context. I wanna show them a video in the you know how they're always flooring and they're trying to do their hair i think that would be a really good video for them to see do you have like one of those videos i remember seeing a video of how like an astronaut washes their hair and then it's like you know what i'm talking about right yeah i've seen those two um i could google but i don't know Probably Kirsten and Kelsey would probably beat me to it or so. Someone in there. Yeah, I, I can try to I can, I can try to look it up quickly and then show share my screen. What is the thing? <laughs> that they're floating in. <laughs> you know how they're inside and then there's no gravity, like is it called yeah, a shadow? in their spaceship. They're just in their spaceship. And they're just not. Oh, it's, called a, it's called a ship, right? Of okay, a spaceship. Okay. Yeah. For lack of a better term. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, I found. You found a better one. Anyway, I'll stop. I'll stop share. I think someone else can share. Okay, I could, yeah, I found a video. Um, it was a woman washing her hair. Um, hey, yeah. just, and that would give a lot of context. Yeah. Yes. Uh, let me share my screen. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Can everyone see? Yeah. And that is how I want to hear in this weird Hi there. I've had a lot of people ask me how I wash my hair in space. And I thought I'd, just, I'd show you how I do it. Let's see. To get started, these are the things I need. A bag of warm water, a little no rinse shampoo, towel, and my comb. What I like to do is start by just putting some hot water, squirting it onto my scalp. And I have a mirror here, so I can kind of watch what I'm doing. Sometimes the water gets away from you. You try and catch as much as you can. And I just work with the water up through to the end of my hair. And I take my no rinse shampoo and squirt it also on the scalp a little bit and rub it in. Again, kind of working it out for the ends. 
And sometimes I'll actually take my comb and work it all the way to the end. And then I like to take my towel while I have the shampoo in there and just kind of work it. Because without standing under running water, you kind of need to use the towel a little bit to get some of the dirt out. I like to follow that by a little more water. It's called no rinse shampoo, but I think it's best to use a little water with it. How how is she able to stand straight? Like she's not she's not floating. I wonder how she's able to. <laughs> uh, I I think sometimes they can use their feet to grab on the things. Around, so since we have limited supplies, we use them wisely. I think that's pretty good. And now as my hair dries, as the water evaporates from my hair, uh, it will uh, become humidity in the air. And then our air conditioning system will collect uh, that into condensate and it won't be long. And our water processing system will turn that into drinking water. At the end, I just do one final comb through to make sure there are no snarls and snags. And while it dries, I would like to uh, let it stay, stay free. I don't put it back in a ponytail while it's drying. And that is how I want to hear the mistakes on international shipping. Thank you. I wish there's a, I wish you could see her like floating around in the thing. <laughs> so. The reason her hair was standing like that is because there's no gravity to pull it down, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So when, when you're in the spaceship, there's no gravity. So which means that you just float, you just float. Like you have to hold on to something. You see her hair was standing, because there was no gravity. So you just like, you just float. I don't know, it was another video of that, but yeah. <laughs> I hope they get it. I'll show you to them. Oh, and um, I also just found another video. I know someone asked a question about food and the video is a quick little video that shows kind of uh, meal prep, what they do in space. So if you don't mind me showing that. Yes, please. That would be awesome. Okay. There's this one. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> National Space Station. Tonight we thought we would show you a little bit about some meal prep, what we do for meals on board the space station. How do we prepare our food? So the answer is we have a great variety of food up there. Two different uh, general types of food, thermal stabilized food, and these green packets that's very similar to military MREs or meals ready to eat. And then we also have uh, freeze-dried food. So all of the water content has been sucked out to just basic asparagus. So we need to add the water back in. We want to make sure all that water is fixing in and then we use and we put it here inside the food warmer. And then we have refrigerated space here. They've been nice time to allow us to use these just for food. All right. Dinner time. Turkish fish stew. I have butternut squash. All right. I'm having uh, I have rice with butter, some lentil soup, and grilled chicken patty. A lot of the Russian food comes in cans. This is one of my favorites. This is uh, spicy beef and rice. Space makes eating a lot more fun. You can turn your spoon upside down or even let it go and nothing's going to fall off. You can eat in any direction. You can eat upside down if I want to. Oh yeah, there it is. I like that. <laughs> so you see how you can just float, like just something in the air. And, uh, when people come back from space, I don't know if this is they are taller, right? Uh, yeah, that's true. It's true. Oh, Maybe. nice. Okay. Yeah, not there's a limit, but <laughs> you have to a little tall. <laughs> okay. You know, you're not gonna be seven. Do we have, to, I think we can just do one more question if someone has one and then we can go on. Does anyone else have a question? Ogutu, right? Okay, Ogutu, yeah, go ahead. 
And also, Toto has a question. I think, okay, I guess we can make it dance or shorter this time. So, good to then, Toto. My name is Bruno Nguyen. I learn in Zawadi Academy. I want to ask a question. They say internet in the plants and, and animals. So what did you what did you ask? The internet. The, is there internet? Is there internet in space? Is that what you're asking? Uh -huh. You wanna be able to watch your videos in space? Okay, that's a really good question. That's what you ask. Kuna internet space, Cindy? Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, good question. <laughs> Um, anybody else want to take it or I, again I can try take a shot if nobody else has something okay um, okay thanks thanks Kelsey go for it um, <laughs> so they and I wish I, I should really know the answer to this question because there's a group here at our center that basically designs and creates the internet and in space. <laughs> um, and so there is a space communication network in space. Um, it's different than what's on Earth. Um, one of the big problems is there's a really big delay between when you send a signal here to when it gets out there, just because it's so far away. Um, and, but I, I know that astronauts are able to do video calls with their family and things like that. Um, I don't think they spend a lot of time just browsing YouTube channels. <laughs> they, the internet's not great, that great up there. Um, but uh, actually one of the interns that we had a picture of, but he couldn't attend, he was making some graphics to sh show how NASA is going to try to put uh, 4G on the moon. For those of you who know what 4G is, it's a wireless network technology. So NASA's working to put 4G on the moon. So uh, people on the moon will have almost like what we have here on earth uh, with our Wi-Fi. So Yeah, that's, that's so cool. Uh, Grace, Toto, you have a question too, right? Now these are good. Actually, I've got to compliment the students on this because sometimes we get different, not very relevant questions. <laughs> uh, but these are all, yeah, <laughs> extremely relevant questions. You know, like food and. Uh, yeah, you know they want to know when they go yeah. to space. Can they eat? You know, mm -hmm. can can they fast? Can they go? Can they eat? And then can they browse? You know, priorities. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, Toto. My name is Grace Mangui. I'm in grade five, and I just want to ask a quick question. Is there any dark and lights in the space? Wow. Yeah, that's a really good question. Does it get does it get dark at night? What's the common Giza, Cindy? No, sir. That's a really good question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, well, I, I think it does. Um, I'm trying to just kind of picture the orbits of the space station and the Earth and the Sun and how that all works. But so the space station goes around the Earth every 90 minutes. So their day is kind of 90 minutes long. Um, so it, I, I think I think pretty much they do have dark and night, um, yeah. dark and light, but it's a lot faster than here on Earth. And the one thing that's kind of different is that um, I think they always see the stars, no matter where kind of look. Um, 
because you don't have really like sunlight to and, and atmosphere to and the air and everything to mess that up. But that is a really good question. We have to look that one up because I want to know now too. So. Yeah, I think actually funny enough, I think I can take that one just for context. So, so right now in Mogotio, it's it's 4.40 p.m. And where Hub is, it's, uh, I want to say 9, 9 a.m., 9, 9 a.m. And some some other place yeah. right now, I don't know where, but some other place like in California, I think it's like very early in the morning and some other place is very dark. So because, you know, we have the sun and then we have the earth, right? And then the earth is revolving around this, the sun. I, that's the word, right? Revolving. Revolving around the sun. Mm -hmm. And then, and so, but then the, the space station is, is around the earth orbit. So Nikama 2, it's like, you have the earth right here, and then you have the space station just going around, right? So to go around the earth in a spaceship, it takes 90 minutes, just one hour, 30 minutes only, like from Mogotio to like Nakuru Mbele Kidogo, like it's very, very quickly. So, which means that if, if, the space, if the space is here, like where Brazil is and Brazil is dark, it's dark right there. But then three minutes later, it's like on almost on, Mombasa, not three minutes, like 20 minutes later, it's almost in Mombasa where it's morning. So it's almost like at what point is the spaceship, you know, covering the, if, if it's like exactly under Mombasa and Mombasa is day, then it's day for them. And then if exactly under Brazil and it's night for Brazil, then it's night for them. But to go around the earth, it's only 90 minutes. So if they keep, it's, they keep seeing day and night they keep seeing sunrise and sunset every 45 minutes. That's, that's, that's right, right? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I think so, something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Wait, yeah. I, I need to, yeah. <laughs> No, I think I remember but, I attended something and there was someone who was talking about that. I was like, that's so cool, yeah. But by the way, you, you can see the space station from Earth. It's a tiny thing that goes over the sky. And I would think where you are, where there isn't a lot of light pollution, yeah. You should be able to see it way better, way better than we can see over here. Uh, and there's a website if you find it, uh, like, where is the space station? And it tells you where to look at what time every day. So it's 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 cool to see if you can do it. If Does anyone else have a question? Yay! Okay, on to activity. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, take it away, Kirsten. Thank you. Kirsten, right? Kirsten. Yes, it's uh, Kirsten. Okay. Um, sorry. Yeah, so let me go back to share my screen. Um, okay. So, okay, we watched the video. There he is. Okay, so the Inkscape activity for today, hopefully we'll be able to, to like uh, create this like rocket ship um, that uh, will be kind of created using shapes in Inkscape. So um, I, I'm i not sure if everyone has it downloaded and in, installed on the computer, but if they don't, um, I guess at this time, if you could do that. And then, yeah, it should take you to this blank page uh, and that's where you can kind of like on this side that you see right here, create the like square rectangles if needed or like circles, which then can become ovals. Um, and there's a lot of different features that um, will hopefully be able to um, help us create this, uh, this rocket. So, and that was kind of it for my kind of Inkscape introduction. <laughs> that's very short, but yes, they, they all have Inkscape installed. They've used it so many times before. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. So, so have, have they made shapes, used shapes, like squares, rectangles, circles, ovals? Yes, yes. I was actually wondering for this, oh. it's possible to like, to like quickly show what they are drawing. And then when they go to their own computer, they can share their screen and you can see them what they're drawing, like, like what you have in mind. Like if you, you want them to draw a plane, like if you can quickly show them and then they can try it. You, like give them a demo of what they're gonna do. It's gonna make it easier for when they go into breakout rooms. Okay. Uh, sure. Yeah, I can uh, pull up 
the Inkscape screen and then share it from there. Um, let me share that. Okay, hopefully everyone can see that. But yeah, so like I had kind of mentioned before, um, get that out of the way. Yeah, so it should get have like this bank uh, blank page. And so on the left hand side, you can kind of, we can start with like the circle and then you kind of select it. And then from that point, it can kind of become oval shaped. Um, so we just do that. I've been having trouble moving it. I don't know why does it, no, we don't want to do that. Oh, and then, um, have, I mean, you have to get out of the oval. Oh, this so you have to get, so I, 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 oh, I use the keys, by the way. Um, it's helpful if you just type or hit the S key that gets you into select mode and then you can move stuff and reshape it or uh, resize it and, all, and, and rotate it, by the way. Yeah, That's so uh, like Herb just said, you can use the S mode to kind of go to back to the select mode or um, if that doesn't work, you can always go to the left-hand side and cl click this little um, mouse arrow thing. Um, and so then from that point, think to change the color. Yeah, yeah, that works. Okay, so to fill in the shape with a specific color, you can use kind of this color palette that's down here. Um, so uh, fuchsia, if I wanted to use that, or like a navy blue, you can change that. And then um, I believe the outside border, oh, I forget the, what's it? I guess not, but um, yeah, so you can kind of change the colors from there. And then again, if you want to add a different um, or add another shape. So if I kind of want to make it smaller like this. And then you can always change its position. Let's move that a little closer. Um, and again, it kind of change its color again. Um, and yeah, from that point, you can. Move that over. And if you want to resize it or um, kind of uh, rotate it or anything, you can use these arrows. So like this makes it wider. Obviously this one makes it um, taller. Kind of, again, you can kind of resize it from there using those arrows. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of move that about. The more advanced features, um, I'm not all the way sure about, uh, but hopefully when we do this, um, so then there was one like path to object, I think was one, and then the um, the node feature. But again, I'm not a thousand percent sure. So, but yeah, this is kind of to kind of get started, um, kind okay, of basic. So, so the actually. So the activity they are doing is to draw a plane on Inkscape, like, so you're gonna have them like draw planes and what is the activity you had in mind that they're gonna do on Inkscape? Um, I heard correct me if I'm wrong, but we're doing the, is it the rocket? Yeah, um, yeah you can do the rocket like you were starting or, there yeah. or if they wanna make a plane. A plane, yeah. they wanna do any, I mean, there's no rules here, sort of. So if they want to do something, other things that relate to space, that would be cool. Um, okay. So I think I'm, I can. If they want to do the activity at we have fun. Yeah. I can look, quickly look but, at a picture of a. I think, okay. So I just a little bit of direction, I think that might help is that they can start with a, with a plane because they, have, they know what that looks like. I don't know if they've seen a rocket. So I can share a picture of a rocket so they can see it. But if it's drawing a plane, they can they can do that. So maybe for this activity, they can start with a plane and then they can move on to different. Um, so when you go into your breakout rooms, you can tell them like, this is how a rocket looks like. Let's try to draw a rocket, right? Yeah. Okay. For, for this activity, you're all gonna go to different rooms and you're gonna like start by drawing an airplane 
on a ndege helicopter drawing an airplane in the in inkscape and then slowly we're gonna they're gonna help you do different things okay so so i'm gonna i'm gonna assign all of them breakout rooms now and then so okay. so the, the event ends at uh, in 40 minutes right uh, correct in 40 minutes so are we gonna we should get back here like go back in 10 minutes before right is that good so we're gonna yeah do, that'd be great. we're gonna do this part for 30 minutes and then get back oh my god i like oh my, i like how smoothly this is all going today i'm so excited <laughs> okay much better uh, Yeah, to, to join yake. Hello. Hey. Okay. They're just like taking them into groups now. Um, okay. Yeah. I forgot to wear my hat. Sorry, in the car. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I represented us today. <laughs> yeah. I'm really happy. I'm so happy that this is going well. Laptop <laughs> mode. Yeah, no, this is, this is great. Yeah. You see how, how many questions they have, right? Like they're so. Yeah, no, we're really good questions. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you I don't know if you caught the the first time we had the event and we're talking about the the over in, in Mars. They were asking like they were asking questions. Has anyone been to Mars? We're not coming back. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. So curious, yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank you for answering. Thank you, Madam. And you also you also got to meet them more, right? This time? So to ask questions. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna go back to the main room and then come back. Yeah, Rocky. Rocky, yeah. alafu. Yeah. Okay, Marisa, uh -huh. share screen. Meskia. So, okay. come to okay. us. Okay, Sasa. Eh, Asa, I'm being a Nikki and a boy, and I share screen. Come to a share screen, Ivo. 
Mau maju ke share screen, Pak Wen? Oke. Yeah, absolutely. Can you draw a plane? How do you draw a plane? Well, this is what I drew. I can start it over and I can show you what I did. Or they can uh, they can also share their own screen and do it. But when okay. you can show them how you can draw a plane, right? Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah. Hello. I'm gonna stop my share then. Oh. You know how to share your screen? You can ask Rocky to help you share your screen. And then what was on you make it over my current camera sana. <laughs> They're sitting on a desk, so the computer is right there. That's really yeah, yeah. Still like up there, please. Okay, yeah, much better. Okay, that's good. Okay. They're using Windows? This one is on the wrong machine. <laughs> Wait, are all their machine Windows? I'll be right back. Alan, what? I'll be right back, Adriana. Okay. Uh, 28 or a rocket? Hi, Kwani, Nani, Moha. Why are you to me a Windows? Yes. Why are to me a Windows? Yes, yes, it's Windows. Why? <laughs> they had Inkscape in Techlit. Okay. Of Ngulia Basket, Nini, Inkscape. Yeah, it's already open. Okay. Uh, I think. Uh, okay. So, Can I see how you draw a plane? Are you were you able to share your screen again? Kevo, you can share your screen. Oh, there okay. we go. Good. Apo endelea sasa. That looks good. Shall I 
Beautiful, that looks really good. Anyone want to learn more about the advanced features for the Portuguese? Morning start. And uh, are you all in grade five? Yes. Okay, that's the sun side. Oh, okay. No. A quick, uh, like the, the back of the plane. Um, so if I can try to add more of that. Let's see. Hmm, I wonder if that might work. Yeah, let me see this one. Again, I'm so sorry. I'm not. Okay, you know what? We can work with that. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I'm <laughs> Wait, what are you guys trying to do? We are, we are, we are donating the star so that you can start doing the airplane. Oh, okay. Okay, Ron, let's start. Stop. Listen, listen, listen. I think 
Are you dragging and dropping? Kind of do a. You ever want to take what's on the screen and um, I guess you could export it. Yeah. If you want to export it, so maybe you created something and you want to send it to your parents or your family, you can always export it. And then let me move this over. And so just make sure that it's that's what you want it to look like. And so then. You have it as an image that you can send to family. Um, so yeah, did y'all want to change anything else about the plane? Yes. The wings, the wings of the aeroplane. What do you want to change about it? The slim, like the the back of the aeroplane. Oh, you want it to be skinny? Mm, yes. Okay, like this? Yes. Okay, I'll move it over. Let me just copy this. Okay. It's okay. And is there it's any? Okay. I'm sorry? Yes, it's okay. And then is there any colors y'all wanna change or you wanna leave it all blue? <laughs> I have a question. Yeah, ask away. What's your question? Yeah, thank you. But it's so tired to draw. Sorry, could you ask one more time? I didn't quite understand. Would you mind asking again? Kevin, what's your question? Molly Zanini? I think I think he lost his audio too. Is he speaking? <laughs> Kevin, what's your question? At the Puski, Rosemary. My question is. I, I I was asking if 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 he, he if she can so if she can show you what how to draw how to draw a rocket yeah I can totally do that again for you let me share my screen share okay. they're saying they want to see how to draw a rocket as opposed to a plane yeah, rocket. yeah. I can do that. Um, so I'm going to share my screen with you and I'll show you what I would do. Um, and then you can do it your own way, of course. Um, do you have a favorite color? Yes. What's your favorite color? Pink. Pink. Oh, that's my favorite color. Um, okay, let me make a pink rocket then. So I'm going to take this color right here. That's, that's pretty close to pink. Actually, it's the fuchsia. That's, that's the closest to pink. Um, and so rockets are a little bit different from planes in that they're they're rounded. So I'm going to start with this right here. Um, this is going to be the body of the rocket. So this is where the astronauts would go. Um, and then you need something to propel that rocket into space. So I'm going to draw that now. Oh, I didn't want to change the color. Um, so I'm going to do a second shape. And it's like a... 
This will be like one of the wings. I'm going to move that to be a bit closer. And then similarly, if we want a second wing, just like planes, we're going to put this right here. Oops, there we go. And now I think we can add like a little window so that the astronauts can see outside, they can see space, right? So let's add a window. We can do one more circle. Um, and we can put that right here. So that's what a rocket would look like. Do you think you could do something similar? Thank you. Um, do you think you guys could do that and show me your screen? Yes. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna stop screen sharing and I'm gonna watch you guys do it now, okay? Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing. And I wanna see your screen again and I wanna see you guys do that. Oh my god, who's the one? Is that who who drew that? Bowen, are you the one who drew that? Yeah, I am Sammy. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so cool. Yep, they're doing great. I haven't hardly helped at all. <laughs> Actually, I haven't helped at all. I, I did figure out the spray can tool if wanted to try that. Yeah. <laughs> Fire. 
like trying to propel a fire. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, they haven't, we haven't taught them curves yet, you know, like using curves to sketch it. So right. I, think, I think once we show them curves, we'll do it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I couldn't hear that, but whatever, that's fine. Okay. Oh, okay. It's fine with me that um, Nellie might want to see it if you wanted to show her before you stop sharing. Um, and then after that, if you want to draw other things that remind you of space, you are more than welcome to do that. Yes, I want to see it. I'm sure. <laughs> Yay, let's see what you do. Oh, wow. That is a really nice rocket. I'm going to take a screenshot. Uh, nice. So I think we can we can save it. And then like when we go back to the main room, each person can share their screen and show what they did, right? Awesome. Yeah. So we have two more minutes. I'm going to go to the other rooms and tell people we are going to go to the main room soon. OK, would you like us to leave the breakout room then? Uh, oh, no, no, yes, not, not yet, just one second. Not yet? Okay. I, I'll just close it all at once, okay? So you just have one more minute okay. to hang out and ask okay. questions. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You guys have any questions for me? It's good. We have, we have and one then, and then we're going to the main room. I <laughs> Okay, I'll see. We have one more minute and then we're going to go back to the main room. Okay, they've been having technical difficulties, so they're just now starting. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. We can, they can be their project tomorrow. They can go draw it and I can share pictures. Okay. Sure. Yeah. 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 So Moha, we can have them like share what they learned. Like we can have each each group share their screen one by one, just what they did, and then we can close. Them. Thank you. 
I guess they are all muted now. So without, uh, without turning on their audio, we can start with one group sharing their screen. So we can start with the Bowen. Bowen, can you share your screen and show us what you, what you made today? Make sure all your... Make sure all your body is muted. You have to be all muted. Don't have audio. Don't share screen. Okay. 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 Bowen, can you share your screen and show us what you did? You are, the, uh, you are the, uh, the educator, right? You are the one teaching them today. Do you have anything to add uh, about the, the only thing I can add, Yeah, the only thing I can add is I didn't have to teach them anything. They just did it all themselves, and they did great, as you can see. Wow, you should all clap for, was it Bowen and Ronex? Bowen and Manu, right? Any so. more clap for them? OK. And then next, can we have Kevin? Kevin, can you share what you did? Wow. So you are, you are going with the rocket, right? Uh, so who was the who was the lead? Was the lead? Um, you have anything to add, Adriana? <laughs> they did a really great job. Um, I really enjoyed answering their questions, and um, it was great to see them incorporate their favorite colors into the rocket. It was really wonderful. Yeah, it was really it was really interesting when they say their the favorite color was pink, and you're also wearing a pink blouse. <laughs> We were connected for a reason. Um, my favorite oh. color is also pink. So. <laughs> yeah. That was so cool. Okay. Ogutu, uh, can you share what you did? Who was the who was the educator? We had just started on the rocket, but uh, we did a plane as well. Um, oh, good job. Do you have anything to add? Really great kids. Um, when we were working on the plane, they were also incorporating their own colors to it. So um, they were asking wonderful questions. So it was really great to answer them. That's, that's really awesome to hear. <laughs> okay, Toto. Okay, and Kelsey, you are the educator, right? 
Yeah, we had technical difficulties. It kept freezing. But then oh. once they were able to start like picking the right tool, they were moving pretty fast. Like they already knew what colors they wanted. They were That's deciding awesome. whether to have the rocket, the bottom piece be a square or a circle. So I'm, I, I want to see what they make and hopefully by tomorrow they'll have like a full. I will, I, what I will do is that I think I'll work with their school lead. The ones they work with them, we can give them a few minutes to make it. And then I'll share it to you and to the group to see what they make. I'm very sure like they're all going to make rockets tomorrow. And so I'll make, okay. make pictures of that and share with you guys. That's awesome. All right. Thanks. Thank you so much. That's all of them. Am I missing someone? No? Okay. I guess, uh, yay. Oh my God. That has to be the best activity just yet. <laughs> uh, we were all on time, no challenges. I'm so excited. Um, so we have two minutes before the event ends. If I really want to I really want to thank you for, for doing this. Uh, it really means a lot for our students because for them, it's like, it's just like they're already like, even from a small village, they're seeing the world and apparently they're seeing space as well. So this is, this really means a lot. And um, for them to be able to interact, to ask questions, of course, they're always wondering about these things and having people like you from NASA, like answering those questions, they're already thinking about how they're gonna go to space. What are they gonna eat? How are they gonna call their parents when they're in space? And they're only fifth graders. So this is, you have no idea how powerful this is. And thank you so much for showing up every single time and doing this. Thank you so much for bearing with all the technical difficulties. So this time it has been, I think the best yet. And yeah, so if anyone else wants to add any, um, Cutting shots. You know what? I'm just gonna pick all of you to say something to the kids before you head out. So they're so happy, they're smiling. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think you can. I think if all can say a few things, and then we can end the meeting. I just want to say I loved hearing everybody's questions. Um, I really hope you hang on to that curiosity. I didn't really start thinking about any of these things until I was 15. So you're already way ahead of me. And um, I'm just really, really happy I was able to be here for you all today. Thank you so much, Adrian. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just very happy to be part of this. and. Uh, it's it's an honor to even have an opportunity to, to do these kinds of things. Um, so always happy to help. And the kids are always great. And the, the teachers and you, of course, are awesome. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for, yeah, thank you for doing this. Next time we'll ask the kids what activity they want to do and then see what they say. So they will have. <laughs> oh, I can go next. Um, I'm super excited to see what you all do in the future. I was really excited to meet all of you today. Um, and yeah, I would love to do this again if the opportunity ever comes around. And uh, yeah, just have a great day, everyone. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You guys all did a great job, even despite all the technical difficulties we had. It was really fun. So I hope to see you soon. Yeah, let's do this again and again and again. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, so the, the students, do you... Any of you, do you have anything you want to add? A thank you or something? You can come to the front and uh, and say. Grace uh, Ogutu Bowen, do you have anything to add to the? Okay, Manu. Begin my coffee, bana. Sami, Sami, begin Sami my coffee, bana. I would like to say thank you, Nelly and your friends, for teaching us uh, the space. Yeah, you're welcome. We had fun. <laughs> thank you so much, Sam. Does anyone else have anything to add?
Thank you, thank you, Toto. Okay. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Okay. Thank you. Rosie and your friends for teaching us space and we know many things because I guess you're all getting individual thank yous now. Okay. <laughs> Hi Kevin. I want to tell you thank you because I enjoyed this meeting today. It was very fun. I want to thank your friends and you. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Hi. 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 My name is Danieli and Nafa for the <laughs> okay i think okay you should all cut for yourselves for doing such a good job over at mogotu hub you should all really clap for yourself come on <laughs> they're just too wait they're way too excited <laughs> okay so i think i think this is it so thank you so much uh let's let's do this again uh you know and then i'll, I'll talk to the kids the students and figure out what activity they want to do i think yeah maybe we can do we can do inscape again maybe we can do something else and um yeah it just keeps get, getting better each time so bye everyone bye guys bye Hi. Hi. Hi.